Howdy folks, how you doing? I'm Chris Cheney from The Living End and uh, I'm going to be running through a few tunes this evening, today, this morning, whenever you're watching this thing. And uh, I guess firstly, um, I should sort of start by describing some of the gear that I'm using. Well, we don't need no one to tell us what to do. Oh, yes, well, It's in the key of A, but it starts in E. Um, starts with like an octave thing. I'll just I'll just play it, then I'll try and explain it a little bit. Um, starts with an E octave here. We've got kind of a, I guess it's a real Dwayne Eddy kind of idea, having like an octave and then having the E string underneath. But in, in between each note, it's important to get the twangy E string there. So. And then I hit like an A chord. Basically after that, it just goes into a progression over A, which is um, A to C, D to E. Picking that with like a couple of 
couple of fingers, other than using the pick. Landing on the A. Then um, it's kind of a little country kind of hammer on thing that's just over the A chord again. semitone just kind of runs up, I'll play it again. And it's just moving up. It's kind of a diminished, I guess. So we move up to the D. It's still over this. Still over the, bar, the top of the bar chord shape. And uh, what I'm doing there. hammer-ons and pull-offs and it's it's all over the show. Um, so again. Basically just an old rockabilly kind of riff thing. So moving up from this. It's basically just on the A, it's an all, all sort of stabbing clash style. Second time through, it just does like a little Angus Young kind of thing. So it's pretty much that, that covers that tune. Okay, uh, the next song we're going to do is called Roll On and uh, is in the key of A yet again. Um, it's a good key for all rock and roll, rock and roll tunes, and uh, starts out with um, kind of an A shape up here. And uh, it's kind of just a little hammer on. It's kind of just a melody that's like. up in C, down to F, I'll play it first. Back to that again. So basically, it's, um, it's just C to F, C to F, again, C, G, a minor, F, G, back to the A. Okay, so that's basically the chorus which happens a lot throughout the song. Basically, A, C, D, just like Prisoner. There you go. Anything like that'll work. Uh, so then we get to the chorus again, and it basically repeats this twice over, and then it gets into the solo. So I'm going to use a similar, similar sound with the, with the quick delay and the uh, tube screamer on the solo. So I'll play it through first. Now, it starts off up from 
on the uh, up on the A on the seventh fret, and it's kind of like a little bit of a country bend on the B and uh, A strings, and then like a pentatonic kind of scale, little finger picking thing. another solid body but this time this one's tuned down to D so it's like an octave happening between that D and I'm tuning the E right down. Okay so it starts out with kind of a it's kind of a country lick I guess I'm a really big fan of like Chet Atkins and um, uh, all those kind of guys Les Paul not that that's country but all those guys are kind of really mixed up styles so I'll play you the start and then uh, explain it a little bit. Start. Okay, that's the opening tag. Um, boy, where do I begin with that? It's kind of. Um, it's a pull-off thing, it starts on the D. And it's basically just over a blues kind of scale. And then that you could a G note and do like a semitone. It's like a C 
semitone thing. It's not really uh, a scale or anything. It's just just thrown in for for fun. Okay, the next lick, uh, st still down in the same shape, but it's uh, it's kind of bringing in the, bringing in the chords now. So I'll play it first. And um, the easiest way to play this is to, is to try and use your fingers and the pick if you can at the same time. So first off, you hit the bottom the D string, and then like a pull off on the on the D string, the the third string, up, not, not the low E, um, and it's like an F and a G. A and the D string with the index finger and just slide it like that. And then C to D. Okay, and that's, when you've mastered that, that's pretty much the verse, because the verse is just in D. The chorus, um, it's like basically all hammer-ons and pull-offs and all that sort of stuff, so I'll play it first. Um, so it's uh, it's in the key of D, and it's um, it's basically just using the uh, the one flat and third up to the fourth kind of um, pentatonic scale again. Um, now the way I'm playing this is I'm hammering each time, then a semitone. Six, five, three, one. 
solo starts out with kind of a weird noise. Basically, this just happened in the studio and we just kept it in. It's kind of like a feedback thing, but the way I kind of duplicate it, try and duplicate it live, uh, I'll, I'll play through it first and I'll show you. Starts in E, and uh, there's like a little tag that just is a semitone thing, and then uh, it's basically this shape, which is like E, A flat, and then another E, and then with a little couple of harmonics thrown in, in the end. And then we're doing like a finger picking kind of pull off thing over the same shape of the of the E. Yeah.